All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules upstairs. Take yourself an all-time fight, fair fight, clean fight, hard. Most of all, what I say, you must obey. Let's go, touch him up. Sam's last two fights, he's had a tendency to start a little slow. I think uh, he's going to have to put the pressure on quick. This is a three-rounder. Oh, straight in. Yeah, right out with a push kick to the face. And like you said, with Sean, Sean's working his range. Yeah, if Sean stays in his range, it should be a fairly um, easy fight there. Zeb's doing a good job, though, coming in. He's got to avoid that front tip. Uh, yeah, Zeb is rushing instead of setting it up and getting his distance. Yep. Oh. That was a solid shot on the way down. Yeah, it definitely was. Completely legal in Muay Thai. You can hit Absolutely on the way down. Completely legal. What do you think the effect of that's going to be him going down? Right now, he's seeming that it's trying to find his way in, but. Yeah, I, I don't think there was much effect um, psychologically on the way down. I mean, it, it didn't seem to hurt him at all, and it was the first one. Now, if he keeps getting knocked down like that, then that can really wear on a fighter, on their mentality. Sean seems to be finding his pace a little bit more here. Right. Finding a little more room to open up. Yeah, you can tell he's really comfortable. He's throwing spin kick now he put in there. He's got good head movement. He's feeling really comfortable on right now. Zev's still hanging in there, though. Zev, if Zev finds his range and he starts pulling off some counter work. Definitely, definitely. And that's what he needs to do. Instead of rushing in and getting hit with teeps and right hands, he needs to set those shots up to get in. But as you see here, he made, him, made it in and didn't really do much with it. He needs to get working right as soon as he gets in. Well, and Sean's start, starting to go a little bit out on a limb there. Yeah, Zev is still in this fight. You can't... Um, yeah, you can't underestimate yeah, someone that way. He had a 10-9 to uh, Sean Ellis. He just had more, more of the clean shots. Did a little bit more of the damage. Zev's got the right idea here. He's throwing hands. Um, what do you think he has to do to change that up to be able to make that more effective? I think he needs to sit down on Shug. I think he needs to work his way in instead of rushing in on it. Sean's got, he's comfortable now, though. He, he took that first round comfortably, and he's comfortable now, and you can see it in this fight. Now he's taunting, he's playing. Zeb's nervous. It's definitely showing. Yeah. Zeb is definitely a gamer, though. He's not backing off. Yeah, he's definitely in it. But he had a nice left hand there, left hook. Sean answers it back. Sean does have to be careful, though. Um, in these three-round amateur fights, you don't want to take a round off. There's not enough rounds to pick it back not up. Not enough time to do that. And Zev, he, he wants to win. He's moving in. He's doing the best he can do. He's trying to come in. And you never know how the, the judges are going to score that. They might like the activity. They might like the, the guy trying to get in. So Sean needs to keep he needs to keep on that game plan like he had in the first round of coming forward using that range. Zev starting to, starting to find, find spots open. Yeah, he's starting. He's trying. He's definitely having a better round this round than he was the first round. And we got the 10 clock. There's that nice teep again. I still, I'm still gonna get. And into the third. Uh, a little bit of uh, referee Tom Sconzo didn't right. see that leg outside, and Zeb capitalized on it. Right. Nice leg kick. Ah. Good, good, good push kick. I by. don't think Sean's going to leave that kind of opportunity again. No, definitely not. Again, the, 
Sean needs to stop with the fancy stuff and get back to his jab and his teeth. It's working for him. Those body kicks are working for yep. him. This round, Zev just needs to go for broke. He's down two rounds. He needs to just get in there, like I said earlier. Get in it, just do some damage. Hit him with some knees. And big overhand rights against a taller fighter. Yeah, you can definitely see what you're saying, where he's not, not capitalizing on getting inside and giving, giving Again, Sean he's, position. He's inside. He worked that hard to get inside, and then he doesn't throw any. He doesn't score any points, doesn't do any damage with it. Nice right hand from Ellis. But again, Ellis is also carrying his hands a little bit low, which is something that Sev could capitalize. Could, absolutely. Beautiful sweep from Ellis right there. Very neatly put together. Yes. And when you do those sweeps the right way, you don't need a lot of power on them. You use the leverage and you just scoop their leg out. And a second sweep. Second sweep. Now with proper judging, that will definitely turn uh, turn the cards. And someone who's already slightly ahead. Oh, Seb tries an opportunity of his own. Very reminiscent. Uh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds AJ of action, James. we have our winner by unanimous decision. He trains at Anderson's Martial Arts, Joel Machete.